good afternoon ladies and gentlemen a warm welcome to all of you to the webinar on unlocking growth potential uh, uh, this is happening along with beam software the leading provider of data backup and dr solutions um, as you know that uh, data is called as a new oil and uh, i'll say that backup and dr are the containers of the oil uh, today uh, I, I, I let me start and give you a context of this event uh, data driven economy or data is the primary source of uh, every organization for any kind of business or business uh, extension and data backup and a disaster rec recovery or bc planning is the priority if you look at india or the global market huge investment is happening around uh, uh, around creating data and securing their data uh, through digital transformation uh, through machine learning through ai through iot devices ot devices all the all the devices all the actions activities are happening to uh, collect data and that, that data is creating or giving uh, you know revenue expansion so that is one side uh, the, for the enterprises it is happening and you know how india is becoming a hotspot of data center it means global companies are parking their data here so when data the, the primary source is here there has to be or you know secondary source which is a dr and backup and for any kind of pandemic like this non pandemic or pandemic it has to be secured secured not for, not only uh, uh, for their own safety but uh, secured from the attack that is happening so without any uh, you know strategy proper strategy around uh, the business recovery and planning or data recovery uh, or data uh, backup it is absolutely impossible for any organization to run the business so that is the reason uh, this segment of the business is growing rapidly now this brings the story of the channel channel plays a bigger role uh, in serving uh, the organization so there is an opportunity of the channel partners to take the business forward and grab the maximum today we have got a veeam software as you know veeam i have been tracking veeam also for a long time from the time frame of 15 till 20 the way uh, the organization has grown the way the organization had has added solution to, into it and outperformed uh, its competition uh, by bringing in uh, innovative or differentiated solution from on prem to cloud uh, you know you know addressing the channel market uh, by by different uh, uh, sticky channel programs uh, hats up to uh, veeam so this is an opportunity for the channel partners to shake hand with uh, uh, veeam software and extend their business opportunity and this is very apt looking at this situation of pan pandemic because the market is there technology is there opportunity is there that you should take the right step and get along with a, a company which is cloud from the very beginning with this uh, let me quickly welcome uh, the uh, we have got actually two speakers one is amrish karnik who is the director channel sales alliances of beam uh, software he will obviously take you through he will start the presentation and take you through uh, from the channel perspective and we have got jay swamidas who is the head of cloud and sp sales uh, sark region he will give you a sales perspective and uh, sort of you know cloud uh, uh, opportunity or uh, opportunity in in backup as a service kind of thing even dr as a service kind of thing so which are which are which are big areas for the corporates for the cios and for the channel partners uh, with this um, uh, I welcome all of you uh, to this uh, edition of our uh, webinar on, uh, you know, uh, the criticality or, or uh, unfolding or unlocking the growth potential with a growing company. Amrish, warm welcome to you. Please go ahead and uh, take from here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh... I hope I'm audible as well, as well as my presentation is visible um, uh, so that I can start, right? 
all right i i take that as yes mm, uh so warm welcome and thank you so much for attending i know it's a friday afternoon uh, when so many webinars are happening throughout the week i think uh, when 100 plus people joining this call uh, and i'm showing the keenness to work with us i think that's a uh, which means we are doing some decent work in the market and really really thank you from all of us me jay nikhil from whole veem team i think warm welcome and thank you for joining us okay um having said that i think one quick update which i thought i'll give it to you uh, and which can be an ice breaker is um, veem has acquired a company called caston and um, that, that's last three days back uh, monday night tuesday morning we acquired this company uh, so they are the leaders in the kubernetes backup uh, and disaster recovery solution so all the kubernetes containers discussion if there was a gap i think these are the one which has got to get filled up with because of the caston acquisition and uh, this acquisition has already been completed and which means now we are good to roll it as a part of the big solution along with veeam so um, you will hear more about uh, this announcement what that mean and everything uh, we, you can reach out to us and we will take you through that the opportunity what we have having said that i think uh, what we saw in last 9 uh, 6 to 9 months time is the quick trends for 2020 is that pandemic has created couple of things for us and i would look at rather than a um, uh, 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 these as an opportunity the first thing is that customer started uh, doing a resource management really well Uh, they are looking at that i may not be in a position to go to my data center i may not be available in my regional offices how do i do my resource management really well yeah i think that's the first thing which they are doing it really well the second one is uh, security and governance now um, which means i even if my data is sometimes on the cloud sometimes on the on premises sometimes virtualized sometimes non virtualized or it can be sometimes on the laptop and desktops also because all of us are working from home which means i um, i need to look at that data protection data availability in a much bigger and better manner and needless to say data needs to be owned by the company himself which means they need to make sure that data is secured and it is governed or it is the, some sometimes they need to sub, submit the reports uh, to the authority saying that yes it has been taken care yeah and the last but not least i think we saw a tr tremendous traction on digital transformation and digital transformation is a much larger word i think i am going to look at what that mean to the various organization i think the next slide will talk about more about digital transformation so these are the some of the trends which we saw in 2020 till now and i am pretty confident these trends will not change much uh, for next 6 to 8 months time because pandemic is will be might be on a lower side will remain with us but um, uh, these trends will also continue to be there for next Six to eight months time. As the year progresses, I think quickly this is again the India-centric discussion. We did a quick survey and we looked at that. Fifty-three um, percent CEOs are still saying the number one priority for them is a growth, which is a real good news. It's not play for draw. People are ready to play for win, which means the growth is the only one of the largest vector which they are looking at. and when when we also believe uh, ask them a more question from it side what that mean i think the 75% of them has said that digital transformation is the only way they can see a growth coming back for the, um, so it's digital transformation will drive the business that that's the, that's a reality now okay um having said that i think that's where veeam vision will come in saying that Uh, we want to become the most trusted provider of backup and data, uh, cloud data management solution um, uh, to every organization and needless to say uh, while taking this vision to the market uh, the only vehicle which we have is our partners we are 100% partner centric and partner driven company and hence not a single deal we will be doing it um, without a partner each and every deal which we do it in india and globally it is always via partner not a single deal is without a partner that's where now if you look at this vision i think um, i will like, try to explain you is slightly into one two and three acts what we are doing it right now i think the act one was itself was 
only about backup replication and monitoring the building of product itself and more important is that covering the three major vertical which is physical virtual and cloud um so our product was very well baked and it, it, it was solving the one, one of the major problems um in the physical virtual and cloud side uh, but this has given us a run rate revenue of a billion dollar we believe i think we are doing act two now which means uh, we will be doing much more better work in terms of hybrid cloud multi cloud and more about kubernetes and you saw the one of the uh, um, thing which we have done it as a part of act 2 is about acquiring the organization itself so that's a complete inorganic growth which we are looking at we believe that this will help us to take us to a 2 billion dollar uh, revenue mark in next 2 years to 3 years down the line yeah so that's a big big jump what we are looking at and we believe that we, this is a this is a game which we are ready to play really really well having said that i think uh, what that mean to the cloud yeah and why i i'll cover the why portion later what that mean to the customer and what that mean to the partner and why we is so um, gungo about playing an act two which is related to cloud i'll i'll explain to that so the first thing i, I think uh, what we are looking at is uh, to the cloud i think the first is that just putting our back up when you look at the digital transformation the customers are doing saying that how can i move the workload i just uh, as a part of digital transformation from on premises to cloud and the first thing they what they want to do is just a backup that's a first workload they want to migrate it to the to the cloud itself so on premises to cloud or even sometimes customer look at they hey i don't want to look at dr uh, 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 which is on premises which might be in some certain different seismic location or different zone can i move it to a cloud yeah and then the reason why they are looking at this is also because the a uh, lot of time customers are missing their sls now uh, uh, today lot of times in, in a current situation almost everybody missed out the sla of tape backup count on me i'm not exaggerating i think uh, because i i am nobody is there in the data center who will put the tape backup who will tape, tape out and more important who will move the movement of the tapes from the current data center to an outside so the limitations are huge and and that's the reason people are looking at to the cloud as a movement uh, there's also movement from from the cloud itself so some of the other applications whether it is a saas application or with anything else people are looking at the backup uh, of that uh, and putting it uh, in um, uh, putting it into the uh, on premises sometimes customers has a apprehension that i'm i've moved to a cloud but i just need my data and the moment my data is on premises on my storage i think people feel really comfortable on that and that's where they move the data from protection of data for the saas clouds and bring it on premises if the saas clouds are there similarly there are so many other applications people are running and which are business critical applications are running on the cloud itself which mean those also need to be protected and needs to be backed up on premises so that's from the cloud itself and then third portion is within the cloud and guys this is what we see day in day out in last 6 months time i think lot more people are now realizing the importance of cloud and mm, business continuity so lot of people are ensuring that business continuity is taken care and between the clouds itself what what that mean is that i i have a application running uh, on a uh, a um cloud and i will back up that uh, or i i will put the, the dr on a b cloud so if i am have everything on azure i i just do a backup on uh, say aws yeah and nothing new right for for all of us who have sold dc dr so many times to the customer this is exactly what we used to do it on premises we used to go and tell customer that look i have um, you have a dc in mumbai and you are you need to have a dr in bangalore uh, just because it's a different seismic zone if dc is on premises dr needs to be in a hosted premises say net magic or anywhere anywhere else on the world which means that's exactly what is happening in the cloud side also my all applications are running on a specific um, cloud i will move those into the b specific uh, dr needs to be on the other side and last but not the least the backup of the same also that can i put it into a different cloud 
rather than keeping it everything on prem uh, in a one cloud itself so that that's on the um, veen to any cloud and guys you can stop me any time you can ask any questions um, or you can put it on chat and we'll try to answer it at the last um but what's there in for the partners i think there's a huge opportunity what we see uh, from the cloud standpoint of view and when you look at the market itself i think the cloud opportunity is as big last year and these are the real numbers from india side i think 2.2 billion dollars is the revenue done by the cloud vendor itself validated by idc plus or minus uh, here but i think the numbers will only go up it will not come down and we saw more importantly that the this uh, cloud adoption will become like a 4.1 billion dollar billion dollars 4.1 billion dollars in india in 2021 so that's a huge one now what there in for me is uh, that whenever you do uh, even if you do a 100k deal i think six times of that is a storage gets attached uh, when you do a veen sale and guys uh, keep in mind that the storage can be anywhere storage can be on premises storage can be even on the cloud it can be an um, object storage it can be anything else so i would look at that whenever you do a even 100k deal for you or for a partner it will be always around a half a million dollar more than half a million dollar a deal for you because the, that will be on premises or cloud doesn't matter and i think the only way we can grow this is about land and expand and we have seen the tremendous success and when uh, in couple of slide down the line i'll explain you about the india story you will realize the importance of that land and expand it's always that we enter into the account and we try to expand the story really really well having said that i think uh, there is a question by you will come in mind is that but why veen yeah why why what what veen is doing so differently and how and what is is the function of that but i would like to explain you why veen is is in in a is that i think the first thing which we are doing really well is we are challenging the status quo in the data center you have seen in so many years nothing has changed in the data center literally nothing has changed in the data center so it's all uh, appliance centric it's all about multiple windows i think that's the one that's the status quo which we are challenging we are going back and challenging the customer saying that oh you are not cloud ready we will make sure you are cloud ready no need to have a multiple softwares of backup replication and everything we will give you a one single window to manage that yeah i think that's where veen comes in and uh, 10 years back we, ch we started challenging this and we are doing now doing a much bigger and better way and i think how we are doing it different is we believe that backup needs to be like an app it cannot be an appliance story it has to be working as a software and it has to be more and more like a scalable architecture it can host 1000 virtual machines 5000 virtual machines we still should be in a position to backup we should have 1000 uh, physical servers 10000 mm, uh, uh, laptops and desktop everything should be in a position to backup in a one single window can i do that the answer is yes and that's where the differentiator starts coming and what we, what what difference which we are making is that lot of choice is always given to a hardware or a cloud uh, to the customer itself we are not saying that you will require a, a specific uh, storage b specific uh, server no that's always the choice which is given to the customer and hence i've said uh, choice of a hardware or it can be even choice of a cloud itself Uh, there is no binding it's all open architecture what we have built and i think the third one which is really critical and that's where jay will come and explain you about the consumption model also it's not necessary that you need to have only one way of selling this perpetual i think we we challenge ourselves we said that instead of perpetual can we look at the subscription not only subscription can i can you offer as a service and jay will take you through that what that mean and where the money lies for a partner about the consumption model uh that's the architecture on which we work uh, and while doing a digital transformation i think the first step is a backup and recovery yeah but needless to say i think it's a complete um uh, uh, complete stack which you would like to position rather than just position a one pointed solution of backup and recovery it starts with cloud mobility um which means you can uh, up and down you can move the workloads using veen and guys this is real um 
more and more i because i work more and more closely with some of the smb sectors also we have seen customer adopting the cloud moving out of that also and again now coming back and 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 uh, moving it to the cloud itself i think veeam can make this journey really really possible and very easily possible for any customer so that's a cloud mobility also monitoring and anal analytics is a need of an hour the way compliance and governance is, is there monitoring and analytics also about how, when when should we do a dr lot of time financial institutes require this the reason behind that is mm, they are looking at that how can my uh, they have to do a dr uh, from uh, they have to do a dr and run every every applications for uh, at least a uh, 3 days in a quarter how do you do that how do you monitor that is the one which we will help you to do it and more important is uh, that they will be we will be in a position to do it orchestration automated uh, as and when required so i think that's a stack on which we operate and but however as i said the backup and recovery is still the bread and butter for us uh that's the overall breadth of solution which we have uh, right from physical which is your laptop and desktop or you can look at linux and oracles of the world uh to a virtual any virtualization whether that's vmware hyper v hv or anything we anything which is virtual we back up really really well uh and now the cloud story also uh, which uh, which i said at uh, aws azure or anything which we do it we we back up um, uh, absolutely native backup available having said that we also believe there is a one more world apart from the cloud which is a saas cloud and uh, which can be all the saas applications right now whether you look at workday you look at office 365 sharepoint one drive even the teams one which we are or we look at any other one lot of saas applications are getting adopted uh, sfdc to that matter so all these uh, adoption is very very high and even in the current pandemic situation these people do adopt more saas application over the any other application which you can build it on your own data resides there also we believe that that net data which is most critical because those are the all applications which are most critical application also needs a data protection and data availability as a journey towards that i think the first thing we started doing is office 365 or one drive or a sharepoint all these one we started backing up really really well so we believe a physical virtual cloud and saas is the world and we do we play a, a dominant role across all the platform by doing a one thing which is backup yeah <clears throat> having said that i think the disruptive stuff which is whether you look at the physical virtual or cloud i think there is a one single license for all workload nobody is thinking about this we have already deployed this for last uh, one year down uh, one year back so there is only one license it's a one single even if you look at the boq it's a one single line boq coming from veeam side how many a virtual machine you have it's a one single uh, line whether it's a physical server or whether you look at the instances in the cloud it doesn't matter it's a one single line from our side yeah and more important most important is portability portability of that software which means today you are on physical tomorrow you will move to virtual or day after tomorrow you will move to a cloud doesn't matter sir you can use the same licenses which are using and you can put it across anywhere so that that's always a choice for a customer he will get it uh, and he can keep changing from cloud even if he comes back on premises he doesn't have to worry about the licenses okay um as i think tremendous year for us uh, we did uh, more than a billion dollar 1.1 billion dollar as a revenue um, we did but i think more important for us is that nps uh, and nps always is a is a plus 100 to minus 100 yeah and, and today some of our uh, uh, competition struggles to be, become positive some of there are in in the single digit of uh, below 20 below 30 whereas we are very much there and and scoring the marks of 75 and that's a huge guys literally literally huge one uh, more important is that if you look at the uh, sample size because we are adding almost uh, 30 to 40000 customers per year we have 375000 customers till now billing uh, which we do it every year so which means now uh, as my sample size increases 
my uh, even the NPS score is going up. I, I think that's that's really encouraging, which means my R and D is doing a much much bigger and better work in terms of uh, product development. I think we have been called out uh, as a market leader by every researcher. Whether you look at IDC, Forrester, or Gartner, doesn't matter. And the next slides will talk about that. I think these are the number. This is the num uh, revenue or the sh sequential growth, or it can be even the year-on-year -year growth worldwide. When you look at, we continue to grow more than 20% worldwide. If that's the case on the worldwide side, I think APJ is much bigger and better. Uh, we continue to grow more than 30%. Uh, both in terms of year on year and sequential growth also, and and we continue to capture the market. Guys, more important for over here is the market itself is not growing beyond three percent, five percent. Yeah, but we continue to grow at thirty percent, which means we are eating somebody's lunch and dinners and even sometimes breakfast. So we are capturing the market, and we will continue to have a similar growth next year also. And good news. In spite of being pandemic, we haven't seen um, uh, that slowdown at all in our business. So journey with even the Gartner Magic Quadrant, if you look at, I think um, it's it's huge. Uh, we looked at uh, 2017, 2018, they didn't publish, 2019, 2020. I think Veeam is the only one who continues to grow uh, in both in x-axis as well as in y-axis. So look at from where Veeam was earlier from here and now where we are. So it's it's huge, uh, and Gartner is most conservative uh, to give the marks, but I think we are doing fairly well uh, um, uh, along with Gartner, and they show they can see that the way we are executing this is really really well. Having said that, I think the India uh, story uh, this year, I think till now we have grown more than 48 percent year on year. We continue to see 100 plus net new logos we are acquiring, and. We are the one, when I look at we have 1,500 customers. Most important, I think we continue to hire. So that's the investment which we are making uh, in India. When others are going flat or some uh, they are taking some strategic call on the on the people, whereas we are the one who continues to hire number of people in the Veeam team itself. Um, if you look at the trends for our India business, I think it starts with modernizing the data center. And when I say when I, what that mean the modernizing the data center, a lot of times customers are moving from physical to virtual uh, or virtual to say HCI. Uh, I think these are the things which when we I look at is the modernizing the data center. Every time customer does a modernizing the data center, that's an opportunity for a customer to uh, modernize their backup solution also. Backup is the, always the one which has been touched last. But very, very critical. And that is the reason they don't want to touch it. But we have always seen anyone who does a modernization of data center or even to that modernizing the application. And that's where the last portion comes in that people are moving to a cloud. I think we see uh, every time they look at the different backup solution. The second is change in use case in terms of it's not only every time virt vir uh, virtualized or physical, it's also about like SAP HANA, SAP or SAP HANA 1 or Oracles of the world. These are the use cases which are now coming up really, really well. And people are adopting every time the Veeam as a solution for that. And last two one, I think we, uh, we spoke a lot on that is about on-premises to cloud and something which is there on, the, on, the, on, on public cloud also needs a data protection. It is a myth that a lot of time people come back and say that, oh no, it will be taken care by the public cloud vendor which is not the case. Um, if you read the fine print, it clearly says the data needs to be managed by the customer himself. And that's the opportunity for my partners and for us to go and educate and get that additional 20%, 25% of the deal, which you are anyway doing it along with the cloud vendor. Some of the key customers for us is that uh, across India, whether you look at the manufacturing, IT, ITS, or anyone, everyone is using Veeam. And a lot of time you'll see that we are replacing somebody, um, uh, whether it is a Commvault or uh, whether that's a Veritas or anyone. But I think we coexist also. The new age applications which customers are building, they are very much go where we coexist along with the earlier um, backup vendor. Um, more important, I think there are, I, I saw a lot of partners there on the government side also. I think we are available and we are winning few large deals um, in the government side. 
and last but not the least even on the gem itself yeah so uh, look at the some of the key success on the gem itself um i think the true satisfaction for us is that when customer goes and again these are all india centric tweets guys this is not the global one i think uh, we are bringing a change in people's life uh, look at the last one i always love uh, thank you veen for reducing my instant recovery window from 18 hours to 5 minutes i think we are touching people's life we are giving back few hours to them uh, otherwise backup is the one which always looked at oh you can you do it on the weekend i think people can do it now on the weekday itself yeah um look at some of the uh, success stories along with the cu various customers whether you look at 63 moons or kpit or shila phones or future generally everybody is talking about various use cases and the one which i touched it right now um i think more important is that incentive to partner uh, uh, on a opportunity progression uh, this is where veem is very unique right from identifying an opportunity or whether you are doing a proof of concept uh, or it can be a net new logo for us and last but not the least is the velocity at which you will close the deal if you generate the opportunity and close it in next 45 days it's all about velocity say every stage you are going to get the money from our side and plus on topping can be an o365 backup which you do it or it can be an smb customer which is there um, uh, and you are trying to sell it to them i think there will be a toppings which are coming uh, from our side so do go back to partner portal um, uh, and and have a look at it if you have if you don't have an access uh, please reach out to us um, uh, we we, ha we have a one slide talk about to whom to reach out to but they will be in a position to help you yeah so i think um, that that everywhere you, there is an opportunity for partner seller to earn the money apart from the regular margin uh, what you will earn it and and that's how you you can go to a part, um, pro partner portal and uh, earn these perks from our side i think that's where i would like to hand out over to jay to talk about uh, what the vcsp program and how our partners can build the services and more important how do they earn more money uh, uh, when they start offering that as a service so over to jay thank you very much amrish i really appreciate our audience for staying with us so i hope you're all able to see my screen okay yes, all sir. right go ahead sure Thanks a lot, Sanjay. So yeah, so I'm here to talk to you about how, as partners and being together, we can help our customers overcome risk and uncertainty, particularly using Veeam Powered Backup as a service and VR as a service. And let me elaborate a little bit on what I mean by risk and uncertainty. In we are obviously living in the era of data, and everybody is talking about data or doing something with data. either trying to derive value from it or at the very least trying to protect their critical data and there's always a risk associated with it and i think there's not a single day that goes by if you read a technology magazine where you read something about somebody being infected or affected by ransomware so there is certainly a lot of risk around data as such and we are also living in a time uh, accelerated by the pandemic of great financial uncertainty while there is a quiet quiet optimism in corporations to getting back to normal there surely is an undercurrent of uncertainty in terms of how the financial health and how the financial future is going to be so i'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can help your customers overcome their risk around managing the data and also help them overcome the uncertainty around making financial investments by using beam power backup as a service and vr as a service now needless to say there are obviously going to be challenges uh, in terms of managing anything important and data obviously is not going to be any different uh, we have challenges in terms of managing the sprawl of data data coming from various sources and from all directions uh, there are challenges in terms of managing the growth of data the sheer amount of data that is being generated generated and consumed uh, obviously is going to lead 
to a lot of challenges in terms of managing the growth of data as well. But I think the most important uh, challenge around managing data is the criticality of data. There is a need to ensure that data is secure, that it is protected, and it is in compliance so that it actually delivers business, critical business outcomes to the customer. And we are going to see how we can help uh, our customers jointly in ensuring that they protect the data, which is really critical. But I want to spend quite some time uh, in understanding uh, what is the market opportunity for backup as a service and DR as a service. Uh, I think fundamentally, all of us on the call have some basic understanding of what backup as a service is and DR as a service is. Uh, but let's understand what the opportunity for backup as a service and DR as a service is, particularly in our present climate and market. Uh, about a year ago, we did a very exhaustive survey where we interviewed uh, around 1,500 uh, different corporations and companies and tried to understand where they are in terms of uh, adopting or in terms of actually using backup as a service and DR as a service. And what we found was 75% of these over 1,500 companies that we interviewed are already using some form of backup as a service or DR as a service, or are in the market for backup as a service and DR as a service. Just that number alone, 75%, which means three out of four customers are actually using or looking for backup as a service and DR as a service. Just that number alone will indicate to us that there is tremendous opportunity for us jointly, we and the partner community, like those of you on the call, to go out there and serve the needs of these customers. Now, why are these customers actually looking to use or why are they looking to adopt backup as a service and PR as a service? Uh, many, many reasons, uh, but we've highlighted just six of the reasons and these six reasons will help you appreciate why backup as a service and VR as a service can be a very viable uh, opportunity, not just for the customer, but even for you as a VM partner. First and foremost, uh, in keeping with the best practice around ensuring that your data is safe, is the ability to store data remotely for disaster recovery. And that's a fundamental principle of ensuring your data is safe, right? You don't keep the data in the same location as your primary data. Uh, you don't keep your backup data in the same location as your primary data. You keep it in a remote location. So that's one big benefit of offering VR as a service to your customers. And just that one benefit alone can significantly improve the risk that a customer has in terms of their exposure to being under attack, uh, either from some malware or ransomware. The second is that because it is a service, and it is offered in a multi-tenant mode to multiple customers, it means that you as a partner will be able to leverage the economies of scale, or whatever the scale may be. Uh, it could be uh, 10 customers or 100 customers. The fact is, when you're doing it for more than one, you have some economy of scale. And as a result, you have the ability to be more cost-effective as an overall service to your customer compared to them trying to buy and manage it on their own. So cost effectiveness is the second major benefit. The third benefit is most of our customers, Beam's customers, as well as your customers as partners, you'll find that they're not in the core IT space. That is not their core area of business. They have IT staff to support their IT initiatives, but that is not their core business. IT is not their core business. So when you offer backup as a service and VR as a service to your customers, what it allows them to do is it frees up their ID staff for more strategic initiatives. For example, uh, a manufacturing company needs their ID staff to come up with IT initiatives that will actually boost their manufacturing process, that will actually boost their go-to-market initiatives that will help them capture information from the field better. Those are the kind of initiatives that organizations are looking to their IT department to enable, not for them to do backup and disaster recovery, which are mundane tasks you know, if you ask anybody. So when you offer this, you're basically freeing them up so that they can focus their IT staff on more critical and strategic initiatives. 
Fourthly, and this is something which is catching on like wildfire, it says 27% here, but I'm very confident that next year when we do the survey, this number is gonna be much higher, is the need for customers to become asset lights. Every organization now is trying to be very agile in terms of their business processes. They don't want to spend time in owning assets, maintaining and managing inventory, trying to spend time with processes related to acquisition and recycling of hardware. They don't want to do that because those do not really help them. So everyone is trying to be asset light as much as possible, keep their books very light and move to a services kind of an approach, move to a utility model. And offering backup as a service and disaster recovery as a service gives you that edge over your competitors because customers are looking to become asset light. And when they adopt backup as a service, and DR as a service, they end up adopting an asset-like service. Fifthly, uh, the very fact that you as a partner will be offering it as a service across multiple customers means that you know how to manage the service better because you get experience managing it across various customers. So customers who are adopting these services on backup and DR are finding that the level of reporting, the level of analytics and insight and management information that they're able to get from a service is much better than what they could hope to get by themselves using their own people. So that's another benefit. It is said that you really cannot manage what you cannot measure, right? It kind of goes with that. So the better you report on statistics and metrics, the more well-informed the customer is to make some decisions. And we all know that backup is not just dumb data anymore. Backup and Beam provides you this capability, gives you the insights or the capability to plug in your backup data, which really is a copy of all your production data, and feed it to third-party analytical and AI engines to generate insights from. So that's something that can be promoted as a value addition on backup as a service and VR as a service. Finally, on this list, but it's an exhaustive list, like I said, but it's just the top six. So the final one in the top six reasons is that it allows the customers to benefit from improved service levels. It simply means uh, because you're offering it as a service, you're committing certain levels of SLAs to your customers. And an SLA is something that because you have committed to, you are held accountable for it. And that is not the same with an in-house ID person, right? They're paid a salary. Uh, yes, they're gold on certain tasks, but they're not really uh, held to an SLA, the way a service provider providing backup and DR uh, is held. So that's another reason why customers are looking to adopt backup and service. So there are enough reasons for uh, a partner like you to be in the backup as a service and DR as a service business. And it also needs to be mentioned, and Amrish made uh, some comments on this earlier, uh, just because somebody has adopted the public cloud, like an AWS, or an Azure, or a GCP, or an Oracle, or an IBM, doesn't mean that they are devoid of the responsibility of managing the data. No. The shared responsibility model, and I've given you a screen grab of that literature from the Microsoft site, uh, makes it very clear that it's a shared responsibility. The customer is responsible for the data. So that means they need to deploy their own tools, bring their own processes to manage their data, even if the data is on a public cloud. Uh, simply because none of the hyperscalers are going to take responsibility for it. So regardless of whether the data is on-prem or the data is on a public cloud, there is still the scope of backup as a service and VR as a service. Which leads me to talk to you about three different buckets of services that you could offer. And these are categorized into infrastructure protection, offsite backup and disaster recovery, and public cloud protection. And let me cover a little bit of this. So in the first category, which is infrastructure protection, uh, there are two uh, segments to it. One is if you're offering an IaaS stack, uh, think of the likes of NetMagic or SIPI or Tata Communications, I'm talking about those. And obviously they are big in India, but you as a partner could have a similar setup, maybe on a smaller scale with plans to scale up in the future. So if you're offering an IaaS stack, you can protect the IaaS stack data, offering a backup as a service around it. I think that's kind of uh, obvious. 
But more importantly, we see there is a tremendous uptick in the adoption for MSP backup, which is basically nothing but remotely managed backup services. And what I must mention is the very fact that I'm saying backup as a service or BR as a service simply means that the Veeam licenses or the capabilities of Veeam come to you from Veeam on a pay-as-you-go model, which means you don't buy anything up front, you don't buy it for three years up front, you don't buy it for even one year up front. You basically pay Veeam on a monthly basis based on the consumption that you have. So what you could do is you could take the Veeam licenses, deploy it in a customer site. It could be anywhere. It could be in the customer's on-prem location in their office, in their managed DC, or in the public cloud. You could take Veeam licenses and deploy it anywhere. And we give you a free product, which we call the Veeam Availability Console, which we have recently named to Veeam Service Provider Console, which you can use to remotely manage the entire infrastructure. Everything is virtualized, everything is on the public cloud. You really don't need to be physically present in a particular location. You could open up your laptop from anywhere and you could remotely manage the entire Veeam backup operation using our licenses. The second category is offsite backup and disaster recovery. We can help you set up your own backup infrastructure so that customers can take copies of their data and send it to your infrastructure. So all customers are interested in doing in that case is just sending copies of their backup data to your own managed cloud. And this cloud could be something that you set up on your own in your own real estate or in a DC or on the public cloud. We will give you the reference architecture to create that. And this applies both for sending backup copies to your site or to send replicated copies of the primary workload to your site so that in the event there is a disaster, your managed site, which is away from the customer's primary location, becomes the DR site. And that's something that we can help you do as well. And we have great utilities. They are products by themselves. One of them is called Veeam Cloud Connect. Helps you manage all of this in a multi-tenant fashion. Thirdly, like I mentioned, the public cloud is not something which automatically protects itself. It is, after all, nothing but a bunch of servers and storage running, but somebody else manages them. But because of the shared responsibility rule, even the public cloud workloads need to be protected. So regardless of whether your data sits uh, on Azure, AWS, or GCP, or you're using a service like O365, which is, again, a public cloud-based solution, it needs protection. So you can use Veeam to protect any of those workloads, either server workloads or O365 workloads on a pay-as-you-go monthly model and offer this as a service to your customer. So at the conclusion of all these three, it becomes very clear that the customer does not have to spend anything upfront. And this is how you overcome the risk and uncertainty for the customer. You overcome the technological risk of managing data by providing this service. You're following the best practices around protecting data. You're helping them overcome that risk. And you're giving to them a monthly payable option for whatever they are using. And that helps them eliminate any financial uncertainty in terms of investing upfront for such a service or for such a solution. So that's the big benefit that we are bringing to you. And all of this is basically powered by a very powerful Veeam availability platform, which has got a host of various capabilities. And I'll quickly cover some of them. Besides just backup and replication, which we are really known for, we are also known for uh, in markets which have adopted us for our capabilities to do monitoring and management for the infrastructure. And this is not just backup and replication monitoring. It is the monitoring and management of the infrastructure. We are also known for orchestration services, particularly around virtualized workloads. So when you put all of these capabilities together, right, you have backup, you have replication, you have capabilities for migration of your data, monitoring and management, as well as disaster recovery orchestration, you get one very powerful platform which you can leverage and offer as a service to your customers. So effectively, you're looking at being able to offer not just one kind of service, which is plain vanilla, but four or five different flavors of services depending on the needs of your customer. 
So that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you, friends, this afternoon. And I know it's a Friday afternoon. All of you have weekend plans with friends and family. So I will just quickly conclude by letting you know that we've got a great team backing you up. Uh, and three of those members who I would like to bring to your attention are on the slide. So depending on the region where you're present, north or east or west or south, or in any of the south countries like Maldives or Bangladesh or uh, Sri Lanka or Nepal, uh, you could contact any of our wonderful colleagues whose contact details are there upon the screen. So I'll just leave that for a few seconds for you to make a note of the email IDs and the phone numbers, and you could certainly reach out to them. And we will be very happy to have those conversations in enabling you to offer you offer your customers the services that we just described. Sanjay, back to you. Yes, thank you, uh, Jay. Thank you, Jay, once again, and Amris. Uh, thank you very much for bringing in uh, so many information about uh, the capability that you have acquired or built organically, um, you know, inorganically by by virtue of the uh, acquisition. Now the Kubernetes uh, backup and uh, the, the latest acquisition that uh, Amris said it is opening up a new opportunity for the partners for the uh, particularly for the partners because what uh, it, it means not only uh, beam but many companies are investing on kubernetes it means the uh, the market is moving towards containerized technology development on containerized technology it requires a lot of security it requires a lot of uh, backup also so very good move uh, thank you both of uh, you gentlemen and uh, your time I really value I value uh, for your time and the commitment that you have made so let's wait for some questions if you have any questions we can take otherwise we can make a uh, the, the entire uh, event uh, to a, a conclusion so maybe five or two three minutes I will take if you have any questions anybody is having any question they can either raise I can switch uh, you know unmute them and they can directly ask question either to Joy or Amris or they can write on the question uh, box on the chat box I can take. I think I think uh, we don't have any questions. Uh, reason being that those people or the, those partners who are attending quite experienced, seasoned also. They have also grown uh, with us, with you from the scratch, uh, seeing the evolution of the industry, seeing what is happening. They are also keeping the track. So with this, I bring to a conclusion of this uh, webinar uh, on uh, uh, unlocking potential. Uh, uh, the future opportunity with uh, Veeam software, which I reckon that it is absolutely, absolutely a fantastic time period where one should invest on, uh, uh, you know, business uh, recover, uh, BCP basically, uh, you know, data recovery, data backup uh, kind of solution, which is uh, the entire, um, you know, I can say. Uh, the crux of the solution which can run your business now and uh, future also and especially in these kinds of pandemic absolutely necessary so the customers are ready customers are doing doing that so get yourself and aligned uh, with the customer so also be a part of a growing company like veeam which can help you and support you in not only in solutions also uh, different kinds of uh, partner programs, incentivization, uh, so on and so forth. All right then, thank you, gentlemen. See you soon and stay safe. Thank you. Sanjay, uh, very big thank you to all our thank participants. You. We appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.